Hey guys, what's up? I'm on here to do a makeup look today, so let's get started. First, we're going to start out with some primer. I like the Heart Candy Illuminating Primer in the Purplish Pink Package. I think I do it how most people do. Forehead, cheeks, chin, rub it in. I didn't think my pores were that bad, so I made this video. And it seemed a little bigger than I thought. <laughs> For my eye primer, I have some Mary Kay primer. It's old, but it's what I have. Usually I have to choose concealer, but I found this, so we're going to use it. Next, we're going to use my Makeup Revolution palette I got from Ulta. I have a couple other things. I really like them so far. The eyeshadow has some fallout, so I just put it on before my foundation and wiped it with the wipe. Started with the lighter color all over my eyes to set my primer. And then next, I'm gonna go with the matte brown for my transition shade. And we're gonna put that in with my awesome $2 makeup brush set from the Family Dollar. Love it. It all the time. It's kind of funny. I seen Kathleen Light say something about it the other day. But then we're gonna go in with kind of like a grayish silver glittery color. And we're just gonna put that over the eyelid. Don't mind my eyebrows. They need black bad. Let's see. Next, we're going to go with the darkest kind of shimmery shade. And we're just going to put that on the outer V. We're going to pack it on a little bit. Not too, too dark, but it'll look nice once you blend it a little bit. It blends it easy because it's kind of like a shimmery color. And we're going to blend some more, keep blending, add a little more color. Everybody knows how this part goes. <laughs> and then I'm going to pack a little bit more of that lighter color back on the lid. And we're going to do that on the other side too. And then I'm going to put the lightest shimmer color on the inner corners and on the brow bone as a highlight. And again, my eyebrows, I promise next time I put a video, well, I'm not gonna promise, but I'll fix them soon. I really like the Maybelline Better Skin. I really like the first Super Stay, but you can't really find it anymore. I have a little bit left, but I've been using this. I just mixed two colors together. I think I mix nude and warm nude. One's a little pink and one's a little too yellow. And we're just gonna buff that in with the Real Techniques sculpting brush. Cause a couple of the girls at work Which went like to the get the payday thing. Make sure you get it into your hairline, down your neck. You don't wanna have a line. And then we're gonna brighten under the eyes with the L'Oreal. You got four motors and a camera and lights. Sounds, you know, it's, it's, there's audio, video, lights. I'm gonna put that mainly under my eyes. I'm gonna dot a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin. All those good places. Kind of use it as like a little bit of a highlight. Four forty-four eighty milliamp. I like to use my fingers under my eyes usually. It's easier. I have contacts too, so a lot of times if I get anything too close in my eyes, it bothers them really bad. They get dry and I have to take them out. And here we go on the forehead. And then I decide to get out the brush to finish my blending. I love these brushes. Got them off eBay. I'll tell you what brand they are because we're gonna set under the eye with the Elf High Definition Powder. 
And I'm also going to put a little bit of that on the other places I have concealer. Not as much as I put under my eyes. And then next we are going to set our powder with the Elf Eye Definition Powder. This one is in the color... I can't remember what it's called. It's not the white one and it's not the yellow one. It's the one that has like a brownish color. We're just gonna buff that in, not under the eyes. It's like, I don't know what to do. I got this sheet on the track when you got here. No. Ooh, I love this. This is the NYX. It's a NYX blush, but it's illuminating. I think it's really pretty to put kind of like under your eyes, on your upper cheekbone to kind of lighten it a little bit. And then I usually put a little bit on my forehead and my chin. And my cupid's bow. It's really pretty. You barely see it, but it lightens your skin up a little bit. It's nice. Next, we're going to bronze with the NYC Sunny Bronzer. And holy shit, I think I put a little too much on, but we're just going to blend it in. Blend, blend, blend. And I'm looking down a little too far. Blend that in, baby. Keep blending, hopefully it'll look better. And the other side. Seems like so much at first when I'm watching it. That's a lot of bronzer. Hopefully it'll look alright, right? And under the chin. Try to conceal the double chin. People say it works. I don't think it does, but I still do it. A little bit on the neck. Hairline, forehead, I guess side to forehead, not really the forehead, forehead. Oh look, it blended. Looks good. Ooh, and a highlighter. This is, I just picked up, Makeup Revolution. This one I think is in um, Radiant Lights. I have the golden lights, I like the golden lights too. I was kind of hoping this one had a little more of a pinky tint, but it's pretty. It almost looks too shiny once I get it on on camera, but it's pretty in person. And Revolution Matte Blush. I really, really, really like this blush. I want to go pick up some more. It's pretty nice. And it was like five dollars. Can't beat it. And you can barely put any on, or it it's really pigmented. Sometimes I feel like I put too much of it on. Say cheese. Yeah, and look at those pretty green eyes. Oh, whoops. Forgot to record for the lip liner. So that's what we're doing now. Putting on some more lip liner. And I'm kind of looking down a little too far and out of focus. But we're just lining the lips. And then we're going to put a little bit extra on the corners of the lips. Or like the out outer edges there we go and we are about ready for lipstick cover girl couldn't tell you what kind or color if you're interested ask me and I'll check it It's actually really pretty. It's almost like a pinkish orangish color. I thought it was gonna be more nude, but I don't know why it's in the bottle's orange. <laughs> All right, there we go. Lips, lips, and more lips. Look at that perfect pout. You go, girl. Alright, so NYX Butter Gloss, I will admit I love this. I use it almost every day. A lot of times just by itself when I'm running out the door. This one's in the color Tiramisu.
Look at that pout. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot too. I line my under lash line, under my lash line, the lower lash line when I skipped out on the lip liner, half the lip liner. So that's done too. And we're going to put a light coat of mascara on because I am going to apply some falsies and that's not going to be on camera because, yeah, I'm not real good at that yet. Oh, it's coming along. Looking pretty good. I, or my eyebrows I did too. Off camera. I forgot about that. Just a little bit. My go. shadow on my lower on lash line. line. And then I went ahead and applied. My lash line that I forgot I really to like a lot of the Makeup and Revolution that products. Highlight. That's what I used for my highlight. Whoa, That's what I used girl. for my blush. That's what I used for my eyeshadow. We'll see. And then I also got these. Oh yeah, and we're back with the finished makeup product. Look at those lashes. They look pretty damn good. And they were like $2 from the Family Dollar Store. I think they're by Broadway. I'll tell you if you can wear them more than once or not. I'd say probably not. So please like Products, my channel, my subscribe, highlight, let me know if the you like eyeshadows. I really more, like them. So if, if anybody's interested in seeing some more of this stuff, that would be awesome. Let me know because I also a lot got a blush palette. And, and please subscribe.